This video is brought to you by KinHank. Click the link in the description below for more details. Hey guys, Big HD here. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm sounding a little different right now. I'm recovering from my slight flu that I had uh, since the over the weekend. Uh, this is something I like to call Steamy Specials. Uh, Steamy Specials is my look at uh, indie games that are available on multi-platform. So most of the time they're available on Steam. But uh, this is just my way of like uh, giving back to the indie scene because I've been getting more and more involved in the indie scene for like the past few years and I'm starting to notice that there has been quite a, quite a surge in uh, the indie scene compared to the AAA scene right now. So in this case I want to start off with uh, this game that uh, I've actually downloaded on the Switch Online uh, eShop called uh, Vampire Survivors. This was like on a special uh, free trial version right now that's available for like a week or so. Uh, it actually ends, uh, I believe, today, later today, October 30th. But it's like these these free trial versions where you actually get to play the game for a limited time. I see this as like a sort of like a rental, like a try before you buy kind of scenario. And let's uh, let's give this one a shot. Never really played Vampire Survivor, so let's see. Uh, okay, character selection. You first start off as Antonio. Then, according to how much uh, you earn, you get other characters like Imelda, Pasqualina, and Gennaro. So let's just begin with Antonio. Now I'm not really familiar with the gameplay here, but I have seen uh, a lot of good reviews of Vampire Survivor, so let's see what this is all about. Gameplay wise, you're just walking around with a joystick and uh, the attack just activates by itself. Because I'm trying to press other buttons here. So I guess it's kind of like ease in a sense that uh, you just walk around and you let the, the gameplay mechanics do all the work. Okay, you level up. As quickly in the face direction, high damage, high area scaling. Okay, so that means this levels up easily. So let's go with the axe. But do I get any more weapons on the way? Okay, so you do get the the axe on occasion. And you press it with a, in this case, the Y button on the switch controller. Or not, or it just activates automatically. No, it, it activates automatically. Sorry. Again, I'm still kind of new with the, uh, the gameplay mechanics, so. I'm just giving it a chance. Gameplay-wise, it's mostly on autopilot, with the exception of just the uh, the D-pad or the joystick. It all boils down to like surviving the horde of uh, of multiple monsters at the same time. So it boils down to endurance. Okay, I get it. Just try to survive this as best as you can. So what is kind of unfortunate is that you can only use the attacks de depending on the attacks. Like some of them are horizontal and others are vertical. Okay, let's upgrade. Let's use. Let's go magic wand. Ah, okay, I see. Whoa, there's a horde of bats that just came out of nowhere. Incoming! Okay, got a power up here. I'll stop. And by the way, regarding the name Steamy Specials, yeah, that was an intentional pun. I know it sounds a little dirty, but that was kind of the joke. Okay, armor, whip, king bible. I guess king bible would work, but I do need armor. Let's go with the armor first. Okay. She was from damage when active, fires equipping in this direction. Let's go with this one. So the whole gameplay just revolves on surviving an endless horde of monsters that are attacking you every which way. Okay, there's an arrow down here. Ah, found treasure. A new whip. I need more health. I need more health. Can I whip this? The coins, yeah. I need a better upgrade. before they start overwhelming me. I mean, it's no Castlevania, but I did hear recently about a uh, a crossover with Castlevania here. Which makes total sense. I mean, the whole thing just goes full circle that way. Alright. That's my kind of power-up. Uh, raises the inflicted damage. Yeah. I need me spinach. I'm not gonna lie, the game is pretty neat. So new to this kind of genre, considering how this is essentially a demo that is available on the Switch right now, I would love to get this thing on Steam too. One or the other. 
Coral, cooldown, reduce five seconds, shield vulnerability. Let's use Laurel. I gotta be careful where I go here, otherwise I'd get myself cornered. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Is there a way I can speed up? Run? Or maybe that's just an ability that is activated depending on the character. Let's go King Bible. To get out. I'm gonna continue collecting these crystals. Crystals or rupees or whatever they are. <laughs> they look more like rupees at this point. So far, 623, 625. I'm doing good. I needed a power up there. A little health up. So the more you level up, the more weapons and abilities you get over time. As for the price of this game, I think it varies depending on the platform you get it. As well as like occasional DLC. Sometimes there are going to be special discounts, particularly on Steam. So it's a little hard to uh, pinpoint the price. It could be somewhere 6 5 3 bucks for maybe maximum 10 Again, depending on the uh, on the special bundle, sale, discount, even the platform. But this is my way of supporting the indies. Because the indies are doing a better job at making games fun instead of making games look hyper-realistic. Because I feel like games nowadays are just becoming more and more bloated for no reason. It's like people have forgotten these days that uh, limitations inspire creativity. That has always been like the old mentality back in back in the early days of uh, video gaming. You don't always need like high definition graphics just to have fun. That's just my opinion though, but whatever. Okay, level up. Let's go with the magic wand. So it. Each projectile, each ability, I guess, is activated every second or so. And depending on the leveling up, it, it takes less and less time to load. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, a horde of bats here. So far, I'm at level 9. And the monsters are getting bigger. Whoa. Ouch, 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 ouch. And I'm surrounded. I have to get out. Is there anything here that I can get? Get out of there, get out of there. Yeah, it's getting a lot... Uh, a lot more overwhelming. In terms of gameplay. With more monsters popping up. Some of them even bigger. And grinding is becoming a little more tedious now. Holy! Oh god. Oh, whoa! The hell? Things were getting rough. But that was neat. <clears throat> For what it was. So you get different power-ups with different abilities, recoveries, health, shield. You just have to strategize like what items to collect. So the gameplay is about unlocking everything here. Just to add more replayability, all the different uh, things you can uh, unlock here depending on the endurance matches that you have in the gameplay. Now let's go with this sorceress. So the sorceress here has a a homing beam of sorts compared to the first character that has uh, just a horizontal whip attack. Gotta continue collecting these. Don't want to get power ups quickly. Okay, let's go with at the night. This game is for the most part an endurance match. Just how long you can last. Depending on the giant horde of monsters that keep popping up, what abilities you collect along the way. You know, I at least wanted to make something for Halloween, and I figured I'd do this little let's play just to... I guess just to celebrate the last few uh, months of October. And I wanted to do something a little, like, spooky, horror-themed. Incoming! 
Let's go for the speed boost. Okay, so you can technically control the direction of the knife. Depending on the, the direction that you're walking. So it is kind of strange that this is like one of those games where you don't really need to press the face buttons. So no A, B, X, Y. Not even shoulder buttons. It's all just about moving the joystick or the D-pad. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so far 315. I just hope you guys can hear me fine with the audio here. Ah, crap, I got distracted. Now my question, does that mean that I have to like build everything up from the start? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, that's the whole point of the game, to, uh, to slowly progress. It's like you start off with a weak attack first, in this case this little, uh, this blue fireball of sorts. You have to collect the gems to level up and avoid the monsters before they overwhelm you. Okay, leveling up. Let's go with the armor. Whoa, the horde of bats are just coming all over the over the place here. It's one of those games where you just you shouldn't stay still. Treasure found, what I get, what I get. Fire wand, okay. Yeah, I have to get out of the way of these things, just try a little bit more. Ah, crap. Okay, let's go with Pascalina. This one's more like a... If, if one was a sorceress, then this was like a... I guess one's an enchantress and the other one's a sorceress. Ah, okay, so this one has a projectile that bounces off things. Particularly, it bounces off the screen. So each character does have its own mechanic. So each game is an endurance. It just feels a little unusual to, you know, get involved in a... in a endurance match type of game, a gauntlet type of game. And it's more endurance. But not having to press anything, aside from just the D-pad or the joystick. I guess it's kind of like ease in that sense. Where you just, you let the game do all the work instead. Ah! Damn it. Though well, she's more projectile heavy, I do need more melee weapons. So something a little more close range for this one. Hmm, okay, let's go with holy water. It's called holy water. Damn it. I find it funny how, like in Castlevania, holy water is essentially a bomb. Continue getting those power ups. Come on, I need more gems. Yeah. Magic wand, axe. Let's go with the axe. Even if it attacks vertically. It's at least something. You know, I'll say this. The, the controls, the gameplay... Simple, yet addicting. That's the best way I can describe it. You don't really need to be like a... It doesn't really need to be a button masher, actually. But it's kind of ironic that the first character was one that he lasted the most with. Hey, I found treasure. What'd I get, what'd I get, what'd I get? Or holy water. Or Santa water, or whatever. Santa means saint, so... Does it really matter? Alright. That's what I'm talking about. One, one particular pattern that I've kind of noticed in gaming is that... Um, be it 2D or 3D... You should never stand still. You always have to be in constant movement. Be it a survival game like this one, be it a first-person shooter, you have to be in constant movement. That's the only way to dodge and be avoid being hit. Okay, level up. Continue with the whip. K. 
Okay, I'm at level 6. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah, no, 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 no! The attacks do hone in automatically from what I can see. Let's go to Santa Water. I still call it Holy Water, screw it. Garlic, perfect. How does the garlic work in this case? Oh, it repels? Nice. It's a shield, okay. Yes, this works. Okay, the garlic is pretty handy. But does it wear off? That's my question. So the more weapons you have, the better chance you have at surviving. You know, I'm surprised there isn't a Zelda mod of this one. Maybe there is. Official, I mean, but... Just the fact that you can uh, do a, like, a Vampire Survivor kind of game with Link. Like, either, either shooting arrows... Um, shoot. Sorry, I spaced out. Either, either Link shooting arrows, boomerangs, or bombs. And, I mean, you can kind of picture it already. I'll say this. An indie Zelda spin-off title with Vampire Survivors... I totally see it. Yeah, the holy water is a good weapon to have at this point. Is that a full leaf clover? Huh. I guess luck is increased. Oh, okay, so that's the attack that the uh that the sorcerers had. I need to find an opening. We're down here, but it's already closed. Okay, luck is up. Over here. Very sneaky how the game does that on purpose. It's like you have to find an opening, other will surround you, and it's game over. Whoa, I stopped time. This game is neat. I'll give it that. Now it's getting a little overwhelming. This game does not want you to survive beyond 10 minutes. But yeah, the monsters are getting a little overwhelming now. Okay, so far I survived 837. I wonder if this game has multiplayer, because this is like the only thing that's missing. Like, imagine this like in co-op. That must be amazing. Either couch co-op or uh, online co-op. Uh-oh. Getting out of here. No! Mantis got in the way. Oh well. Well, that's Vampire Survivors for you. Really fun game. Simple but effective. I totally recommend this. So if you have a chance, pick this up on Steam. Make sure it's also available on other platforms. Check if it's available on PlayStation 5 or Xbox. It is available on Nintendo Switch. Pick it up what you can on any platform that you have currently. I'll see you in another video. I love to continue making these Let's Plays of indie titles just to spread the word about these games. Until next time, remember, subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment. See ya!